guys, welcome to the Instant Classic Wrestling <coughs> Podcast, the only podcast that is always an instant classic. And your new! And we want to punch Jim Cornette in the face repeatedly until he bleeds because he's stupid. Hot tag! Hot tag! Hot tag! Okay, I got you. I got you. I'm coming in. Coming in hot. You know, I'm going to hit that Big E spear. We'll see you on the flippity dippity. Oh yeah. And we're back. We are almost there. I can see WrestleMania 32 on the horizon. Maybe that's a mirage. I don't know. Oh, wait, no. Oh, there's an Arby's. I see an Arby's. Can we stop? Can we stop at Arby's? We can't. Arby's sucks. Let's go to McDonald's. No. No, no. Burger King. There's McDonald's everywhere. Shut up. We're not going to McDonald's. Applebee's. No. Hardee's. White Castle. We're, we're stopping at White Castle. That's it. Okay, I've never had White Castle. We should stop at White Castle. What the heck is White Castle? Shame. Keep Force. going, Casey. For shame. shame. Anyway, we are at our next stop on the WrestleMania road trip. WrestleMania 28. And the good news is anything, anything is better than WrestleMania 27. So, you know, yeah, let's let's move on from that atrocity. Uh, start off with, uh, again, you know, because WWE knows that I hate it, so they do it all the time. Start off with the World Heavyweight Championship match as the first match. Why not? Because, you know, we don't give a shit about that title anymore. Um, it came from WCW, so. That, that is true. We had Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan. This was the infamous World Heavyweight Championship match. I still don't. I still don't know what to say about it to this day. Um, personally, if I I would have wanted a longer match if I was wrestling in WrestleMania. Um, I would have been pissed both being Sheamus and Daniel Bryan in this match. I mean, you know, Sheamus did win the title, so either way he won the title at WrestleMania, and it's a huge moment. But you work up, you know, your whole career to wrestle at WrestleMania. I would personally want, like longer than a whatever second match this was. I, you know, I would want to actually wrestle in WrestleMania. But, um, I don't know. This was just so stupid. Um, this was, you know, during Daniel Bryan's heel run. Um, I, DJ, any thoughts on this? Um, this was shameful. F first off, first off, for the first time in this video... Besides when I was talking just just now, for shame, okay? Um, why, why, why do Daniel Bryan like that? First off, you know, I, I just think it was just it just didn't make any sense to me. Um, I, I don't know. It, it was just it was stupid for a world title match too. Cause why? Cause why even have the match then? Yeah. Justin. Well, you know. Looking back on it, you know, I, I'm not as much, like, mad at it now, but, like, back at the time, you know, when they did do this, like, I was really pissed off. Because, you know, they could have gave this, you know, because they could have did an awesome match, because a month later at Extreme Rules, they had a very, very good um, two, I think it was, like, a two out of three falls match, and it was very good. And, like, they could have did a longer match, but, like I said, maybe if they, you know, look, that's kind of good that they did this here because, like, this one has started, like, the yes movement. You know, this one and the chance started, like, the, this one kind of the yes movement kind of started at WrestleMania 28 because, you know, the next time we're all, you know, the whole crowd was chanting yes, yes, yes. And I, I kind of think it was kind of good, you know, looking back on this. But, like I said, when I was, like, watching this live, I really hated this, you know, this the bro kick. And, like, 18 seconds, like, they, they just did Daniel Bryan wrong, in my opinion. But, um, looking back on it, you know, it was that bad. Come on, WWE. Why why you gotta do why you gotta do D B dirty like that? Huh? Huh? Why you gotta do the goat dirty like that? Come on now. You um, sound like you're singing a bad rap song. <laughs> John Cena can do it, I can do it too. Shut up. Hey, he's still a rapper as of twenty fourteen. Yeah. Look at Wikipedia. <laughs> Shut up, Wikipedia. He is not a rapper. Um, moving on, we got Kane versus 
Randy Orton. <sighs> I'm just going to pass this on to DJ cuz I yeah. All right. Um <laughs> actually ironically enough, unlike probably most of us cuz God forbid came me in a match. Um I actually like this match. I once it picked up, like once it actually got going, I actually like it. At first, it started out slow. At first, I was like, "Oh God, please, please get this off my screen." But um, you know, after it got going, and after like you know, they started trying to tr trade in finishers a little bit, you know, reversing finishers and getting into the the good like climax portion of the match, I actually thought it was actually a pretty good match. Um, the chokes in from the top for the win by Kane. I liked it, you know. I, I thought it was pretty nice. I still think Randy should have won because I think he was robbed, you know. But I'm just going to leave the entire panel with this. Okay, I guess I'll talk about the match now. Uh, you know, the beginning of the match was, like, very, very slow, in my opinion. Like, I was not enjoying it. Like, hot, headlock city, in my opinion. Like, with Kane and stuff, like, like oh, jeez, this is going to be bad. But towards the like the end of the match, you know where like DJ said they started doing dip, like where they started reversing the finishers and stuff. I, I actually love that part and <laughs> and the choke slam from top rope that was really cool. Um, and you no, know, this was actually pretty decent. I don't know really why they were feuding. I don't remember much about this feud. I this I was just confused why they were feuding. Like, but you know this was. A decent match for what it was. It was a stupid feud that should have never happened because Kane was in the match. And then Kane... The I think a, and then I think Kane took a hiatus. No, wait. No, that was before this. He took a... He just randomly came back and started feuding with Orton. Anyway. And first, Justin, what is wrong with Headlock City? It is a lovely place. It's right outside of Suplex City. You can visit it on your way. I wrong with you. But anyway, let's move on to the Intercontinental Championship match. Uh, Cody Rhodes versus Dear God, why? Big Show. Why? Just why? Um, I mean, I definitely liked that Cody Rhodes brought back the classic Intercontinental belt back. Um, but I never believed for a second that show would win the title and then and and any and then he won the title and I what unpredictability Casey but why cuz he's the big show or why <laughs> uh I, I mean yeah good job show they gave you a title run yeah. Remember that sumo match she had? Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go to Justin first this time. Uh, I wasn't really into this match. Sumo match. <laughs> I'm happy they kept this match really short. It was only 5 minutes 18 seconds, so that's good. Uh, I mean, I understand why they gave Big Show the win here, you know, because like, he is one of the biggest... WrestleMania jokes in the history of WWE because like that video package of different was just showing all of his bad moments like including that sumo match at WrestleMania 21. <laughs> that was bad. But you know like like I said it was like it was pretty much to give Big Show his big WrestleMania moment by being Cody Rhodes and like I said I'm happy they kept it short and you know and the this reign didn't last for a long time because I remember Extreme Rolls he lost it by his foot going through the table <laughs> in a tables match against Cody Rhodes, but um, big, yeah, I'm, I'm, big show. Yeah, this match wasn't very good though. All right. Um. Well, ironically enough, you I actually, <laughs> I actually like this match. Um, I don't know what it was. Um, I got to a point where I was like, okay, let me let me stop being a smarky fan who who only wants to see suicide dives and only wants to see little people wrestle, and let me watch this match as a story as it's supposed to be watched. And that's what I did. Um, 
it took me a second to like wrap my mind around it, but that's what I did. Um, and you know, it was nice. You know, I got to see Cody Rhodes again. I still like Dash and Cody Rhodes a little more. I think this Cody Rhodes is a little more generic than Dash, Dash and Cody Rhodes, personally. But uh, this is the first time I've ever seen a leg DDT in real life. I see it in WWE 2K all the time, but I ne I've never seen it in real life. Um, so I, I thought that was kind of cool. The catching spear didn't really go um, the way that Big Show wanted, I don't think. But, you know, it happened. Um, and then Big Show ended up winning with the WMD, but I was like... Wait, when was Big Show the IC champion? <laughs> I was like, I know this was a couple years ago, but I don't remember this. <laughs> like, for some reason, I just didn't expect Big Show to win. Um, going back and watching this favorite video, I was like, Big Show won the IC champion? And plus, they were, they were like, the whole, like, storyline was how, you know, Big Show was this big blunder at WrestleMania and whatever, which was actually a cool storyline. Um, it, it was actually a cool, a cool I, I know, I know you said it. I, I know. Um, but it was actually a cool storyline. I, I was just referring back to it because it was a, an interesting and realistic storyline. It made a lot of sense. So I actually like this match. I try my best not to hate on Big Show as much as everyone else does. But again, remember the Steamboat match. He almost won, though. But again, it was a sumo match. Moving on, got Beth Phoenix and Eve versus Maria Menounos, because why not? And Kelly Kelly, you know, because celebrities in... <laughs> Maria Menounos, because Snooki wasn't available this year. Yeah, she was busy. She was busy. Um, all, all I have to say is I miss Kelly Kelly. Can we... Can we get Kelly Kelly back? Cause no. No, I never liked her. Shut, I mean, shut up. Shut she up. Was, she shut was up. hot, but that's the only thing I liked about her. She was sexy. And uh, I liked her extreme expose. But she... Shut up. She sucked in the ring. Yeah, she sucked other places too. Shut up. Anyway, uh, DJ, thoughts on this match and the amazingness that is Kelly Kelly? And shut up, Justin. <laughs> um, this match, this match was okay. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't, you know, a great. It wasn't a Divas title match because why is the belt even here? Um, you know, it wasn't like a Divas title match or anything because they could have did that. Um, but but that's okay. That's fine. That's cool. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why this match was here, but it wasn't a bad match for what it was, for a celebrity being in it, um, for Kelly Kelly being in it, who I personally feel the same way as Justin. I don't I don't feel like she was great in the ring, but she was very hot. She was she wasn't attractive. Anyway, um, you know, I don't think she was great in the ring though. She had a great show a good showing in this match. But every time I mean we cry about Nikki Bella all the time. We cry about Brie Bella all the time, so we might as well cry about Kelly Kelly. I'm just saying. Anyway, um, for some reason, I really like Eve too. Um, I don't know what it is about Eve, but I just like I just like her a lot. The booty pop. <laughs> that's that's not. Oh god. That's anyway. Um, <laughs> also, uh, you know, kind of going back to the video package before this match. Did you guys see? Did you guys see who I saw? Derek Bateman. I saw him. He was oh right yeah, there. I saw Derek Bateman. I was like, uh, yeah. Man. With Derek. Caitlin, yeah, it was Kay yeah with Caitlin, he, uh, my my boy Derek Bateman, formerly known as the Champ, darn it, EC3. He, you know, he was he was back there. I saw the man. Him. What Casey? What? <laughs> she is gorgeous and phenomenal in the ring. She's not. <laughs> Have you seen her? <laughs> like like I I like. I, I get it. Like she looks like Alexa Bliss. I get it. Okay, she looks like Alexa Bliss, but Alexa Bliss is greater than Kelly Kelly in the ring. It's just, it's just how it is. This has hashtag, hashtag with, push Alexa Bliss. This has nothing to do with Alexa Bliss, who is gorgeous and deserves the women's title. Okay, I'm just. Don't you okay me on my review? Don't you do that, <laughs> asshole. Okay, let me get my thoughts on this match. No, um, don't get your thoughts now, because you disrespected my woman. Okay, talk. 
Uh, this match was all right for what it was. I I really wish they would have done more with Beth Phoenix, like in this match. Like, I mean, I I don't know. Like, she reminds me of like of this. There's a certain diva who I'm trying to think of. Like, hmm, like she reminds me of like a China type of person. I don't know. That I just that's my opinion. Yeah, like, they're trying to remake China. Yeah, they are. The times mm-hmm. they tried to remake China, and, it, and I love they tried to re- remake China. I love that. Uh, huh? What about that one? Who was that girl? What was her name? She interfered in a in another mania. I think we watched. She was ugly though. My God, that girl was. She needed like reconstruct. I jazz. mean, she was what? Jazz? No, not jazz. <laughs> she was this. I hate to say it this way, but I'm gonna say it this way. She was a big white lady. I don't know if that helps you any, because that's usually what they are in WWE. What? Nicole Bass? Yes, her. She is hideous. (laughs) She should be ashamed. Yeah, but um, (laughs) Eve Taurus, I love her booty pop. I mean, that's good. That's good. That's not what this match was about, Justin. And uh, Maria Menounos, there was something I pointed out. <laughs> um, there was like this brown stain like on the back of her. She got pants. nervous. She got nervous. <laughs> this is the oh, biggest yeah. spectacle she's ever Well, she's been on Dancing with the Stars. Seriously. Oh, yeah, because that's so... Yeah, thing, shut up. Right? <laughs> Same thing, right? Yeah. And Kelly Kelly, I mean, she's hot, but she sucks in the ring. She cannot wrestle. I mean, yeah. But I love her extreme expose. Okay. I. I'm so disappointed in you. And you're disappointed, DJ Alta, aren't you? No, no, just you. Just you. Let's let's move on to the Hell in a Cell end of an era match with special guest referee. Justin's favorite wrestler, Shawn Michaels. We got Triple H versus Undertaker, so you know who's going to win. Um, Shawn Michaels, obviously. Yeah, obviously, because the referee always wins, except when they get knocked out for 20 minutes. Uh, <laughs> the only thing I didn't like about this match was this was one of the few matches where Triple H did not look good at all in shape-wise. He was he was a little bit he uh a little bit chubby you know he had a little bit of a gut he needed uh, a couple more of the crunches and lay off the cheeseburgers I'm just saying he was a little bit you think you think Triple H has ever eaten a cheeseburger in his life <laughs> <laughs> he loves White Castle shut up but um I just remember being really excited for this match because. It was, you know, the end of an era, the end, the end of the Attitude Era, because these were the last uh, few guys left still active uh, from the Attitude Era. Um, so I, that was exciting. Um, wasn't one of the greatest WrestleMania matches, but it wasn't one of, and it, and it wasn't one of uh, Triple H's greatest matches. Um, it was just kind of, it was it was more of a kind of a nostalgia match. I feel like it wasn't you know built to be a great WrestleMania match in general. It was just built to kind of be that nostalgic you know Attitude Era you know fans match, um, which I feel like they try to do um, at Manias anymore. They try to have one or two you know Attitude Era matches or something like that, um, but. Um, uh, it was a good match. I loved uh, the image of the three of them walking up the uh, ramp at the end. Uh, that was really cool. Um, kind of, you know, again, the end of the era kind of a thing. Um, good match. Like I said, it wasn't the best match in the world, but for what it was, it was an awesome match. Um, who shall I pick? In my... Yes, it doesn't get to go first, so it's TJ. Ha. Because how dare you talk about Kelly oh. like that. She is a wonderful human being. Sorry. Okay. Um, you talked about it also, so. 
Okay. So, uh, I I actually really like this patch. Um, for one, it did kind of seem early on the card, though. It felt like it was like really early, um, t to me. But you know, I, I liked it nonetheless. Uh, Taker's entrance looked really cool with the uh, dark sky. Um, also this um, this like in the setup and whatnot. Uh, for the for the stage, it felt kind of WrestleMania 31 esque to me a little bit. No. Um, just to kind of, it just reminded me of it because they were both outside and the the sky was showing, and WrestleMania anyway. A anyway, since Justin wants to disagree but don't have anything to back up his point, I'm gonna continue uh. talking about this match. Um, <laughs> I think the the cell should always lower, um, in these Hell in a Cell matches. Because it gives it more of a mystique, you know, it gives it more of a more, you know, it gets the fans a little bit more into it too to to watch the, the superstars just kind of watch it lower down, you know. I just think that's kind of something, just a small touch they could do every time. Um, I think they should do it for cage matches too, um, instead of having them walk through the door. Um, th this match was good though. I, I like this spine buster on the steps, you know, uh, Triple H, you know, actually reversing the Hell's Gate, so. Kind of a little circularity. He couldn't get out of it last time, so he gets out of it this time. You know, he kind of, kind of, kind of knows what to do. Um, but then you kind of got that that same um, that same image of Triple H last time, where he was trying to go for the sledgehammer, but um, he gets locked in the Hell's Gates again. He can't get. You know, it, it's kind of hard for him to get out of it. There was a lot of um, Shawn Michaels usage in this match, which I think was nice. Um, I. I, I enjoyed it though. I I, I really did. I, I enjoyed um, this match. Uh, you know, having Triple H. I mean, not Triple H, but Shawn Michaels. You know, kind of get involved a nice little bit was nice. Um, I I think what really what really got me with that was the facial expressions from all three men, but more specifically, um, you know, Shawn Michaels when he would like, especially when he super kicked Taker and it almost ended. You know, and he was like in the corner, like, "Oh my God, what did I just do?" But like, "Oh my God, I," I you know, it was kind of like he, you could like he was getting into the moment, which I thought was nice. But uh, I, I enjoyed this match. I thought it was, I thought it was actually really good. I don't know what kind of faces Justin's making over there. <laughs> yes. Um, this was, I mean, this wasn't better than the the WrestleMania 27 match, but this was really still good. I like both entrances, and we had Jr. on commentary, which was. Freaking awesome, um, but you know I like the Triple H entrance where it came out of that big freaking I don't know what you call that thing, and I also like Taker's it's entrance. It's basically the thing he wore um, for WrestleMania 30, but a bigger version he could come out of. <laughs> and then uh, I like Taker's entrance. He kind of looked like a brute from like Gears of War type of thing. You can see in Gears of War. But, uh, you know, I like the story tone in this match. I like how they mic'd up the ring where you can hear him talking during the match. That was really cool. Like, um, where Triple H was like, end him, or I will, you know, like, like end the match. Or, like, um, Undertaker was like, don't end it, Sean. Do not end it. And I just, like, really like that. And I like the switch of music into the pedigree. That was awesome. I like the spine buster on the steel steps. That was cool. Um, and I like looking back. I got um, shades from last year from WrestleMania 27 where they had the sledgehammer and stuff. And, you know, when I was watching this live, I thought that someone would interfere in this match. Like, I thought that maybe Brock Lesnar would, which, would return here, but, you know, he would return, um, you know, the next time I'm winning that raw. And, uh, you know, but this match was very good. I really enjoyed it. And, I also like the entrance, like that the Hill and Cell came down. You know, it had its own theme music, like by uh, uh, I can't remember who the was it Metallica. Yeah, that's the song. Um, that's who it was by. I think so. If I'm not mistaken. But you know, this but this was very awesome. I mean, you know, Shawn Michaels, you know, my favorite wrestler of all times. If you guys don't know that already, but yeah, this was really good. It, it it it's Motorhead. Mo it, was, it wasn't Motorhead. It was not Motorhead. No. Triple H's entrance? No, I'm talking about the um the Hell and Cell that came down when the Hell and Cell came down. A song they played. I wasn't even paying attention to a song during. The, I don't watch the Cell's entrance. The Cell's entrance is always the same. It never evolves. It never gets pyro. 
It got it the never smoke. just spins around in circles. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Sorry. I just... It never spins around circles. I'm pretty cool if that would do that. Anyway. Um, moving on to a match that should never, ever, ever have been booked. Team Johnny and People Power <laughs> Team Teddy. This is how stupid the brand split ended up getting. It started out really good and ended like this. Honestly, I wasn't sure if I was watching WrestleMania or a presidential election because this is basically what this was. Ironically, it was the presidential election year, so this is basically why they did this. You know, let's do a brand versus brand, uh, blah, blah, blah. I... Somebody, somebody talk about this match. DJ, talk about this match. <laughs> um, I actually considered skipping this match. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't skip it. Um, because I was like, something exciting is going to happen. I know it. Um, and, you know, you had that whole typical, I think Teddy Long booked this, but you had that whole typical, you know, um, you know, everybody gets in, everybody does a little something um, throughout the match, and then near the end, you know, everybody, you know, kind of gets it going, you know, they, they do all their spots and stuff. It, 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 was, it was something. But uh, Team Johnny, baby, people, power, got the win. As my boy, The Miz. Got his second clean win in a row at WrestleMania. Not David Otunga? Otunga, man? Yeah, I thought he was your favorite. Otunga, man. I mean, no. I do love David Otunga. But The Miz, the most must-see WWE champion of all time, he got the win. So no one else is gonna talk at all. Listen. We're just gonna sit here. Uh, yeah, I, gonna, I, I guess I'll, ten minutes. I, I, okay. I guess I guess I'll talk about this match. I mean, we had sexual sexual chocolate in this match. We had, I mean, we had Mike the Miz in here. We had Drew Galloway in here. <laughs> we had, what was Dolph Ziggler's name? What was his character before that? Like I can't remember. What, he was part of the Spirit oh, Squad. Nikki. <laughs> Nick, yeah, we had Nikki in this match. I mean, Zack Ryder. Was here? He's not. Santino? That, that, that was, uh, this match wasn't very Santino good. Santino was here? Santino okay. was in this match. I mean, Ron Truth Killings was here, you know? I mean, where where was Road Dog? <laughs> um, DJ. I mean, we, uh, <laughs> where was. I mean, we had Great Collie. Oh, God. Booker? Booker T? Booker! <laughs> and of course, we had Ox. On it in here. I mean, this this was a great match. No, no, this match sucked. Um, I mean, I I, I fell asleep during this match. I mean, seriously, <laughs> that's how much I care about this match. But I mean, everybody in their spot. You know, it's a normal normal like big man tag team match. You know, what I mean, like it's it's one of your normal matches. You know, where fuckery happens. It was it was a Teddy match. Yeah, it was a Teddy. Holla holla. Holla, holla, holla! <laughs> if you hear me, no, that's it's that's not the right holla. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> you, failed. you failed as a wrestling fan. Lead. <laughs> so we get the next the WWE Championship match: Chris Jericho versus CM Punk. I, I can't believe this feud was so long ago. It I, 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 can, can we get CM Punk back? I'm not one of the fans that chants CM Punk, but CM Punk, CM Punk, CM Punk. Chris Jericho, because oh my god, um, I love this match. You know, I I loved the 
best in the world versus best in the world at what I do. Um, I hated it at the time. I thought it was annoying and stupid, but watching it back, oh my god, so many of the storylines and feuds that Punk was in were amazing. Uh, and WWE screwed up when they fucked him over and made him leave. And you know, the, <sighs> why you gotta do it, WWE? Why you gotta do it? Um, thoughts, thoughts on the match? Did you? Were you? Were you rooting for the best in the world? Well, since Justin or the speaking, best I'm in gonna, the world, what he uh, does? Maybe. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I was obviously rooting for the best in the world. Because the best in the world of what he does is a prick. He's a prick. He's fat. Um. Okay. He, he looked bloated in this match. <laughs> anyway, you this, just, this you Triple H. Nope, Chris Turco. This, this match was was actually pretty good though. I, I mean, I, I mean, not actually pretty good. It was really good. Um, I I enjoyed it. I thought you know the psychology between the two guys. You know, and oh man, I love anytime Chris Jericho. You know, jumps off the top turnbuckle and locks you in the walls. You know, you got me hooked. Match of the night. <laughs> you got me hooked. Um, Punk would end up winning with the Anaconda Vice. But did you see Jericho, you know, do that running senton? I saw it. I saw it. I saw it also. Trying to look like Kevin Owens. Maybe trying to look like, um, you know, you know, Bray Wyatt. You know. He, he knew he was looking bloated. That's what it was. He was like, I, you know, I gained a little weight. I can do this move now. That's what it was. <laughs> he gained all that tour weight from from Terry Wafazi. I, I okay. Right, I'm just gonna keep talking until Justin says something because he just looks at me every time I finish. <laughs> 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 uh, this match was very good. I, I love the storyline. You know, like when Chris Jericho came back. You know the whole end of the world as you know it, and, like, I just really love that whole storyline, you know, the best world versus, uh, you know, the best world. Um, this was very awesome, and, you know, there was a stipulation, you know, when John Lawrence was backstage, you know, if Punk got disqualified, he would lose the WWE Championship, and, like, Chris Jericho, you know, go, like, how's your father, and, you know, like, he would kind of tick off CM Punk, and, you know, there's this, there's one point, you know, Chris Jericho started talking about his sister, and, uh, you know, he punk went to go grab a steel chair. He thought about using it, but he didn't during the match. And, you know, this was very physical. I wish this kind of was a no-disqualification match, but, you know, a month a month after this, you know, at Extreme Rules, they would get that big street fight in Chicago, which was great. But, you know, this was a very good match. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the in-ring work was great with both of them, um, and I liked... How at the end, you know, with the end kind of ice, you know, it, it's, it's very good. I really enjoyed it. All right. And they never gave CM Punk a main event. Like, they never put him as the main event match, which pissed me off. They should have gave him. They should have gave him instead of the, the Rock and Cena. They should have put. But it's the Rock and Cena. Once in a lifetime. Maybe twice. I know. It's it's the guy who sucks Vince's dick versus the guy who Vince sucks his dick. It's it's just sorry. Anyway, so so it's a chain. It's all like a chain chain like thing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Anyway, um, moving on to the main event: John Cena versus The Rock. Ladies and gentlemen, would you like to would you like to chant it with me? I got a got a little uh, chant. John Cena lost. John, you John can, Cena lost. You can do it with his theme music. John Cena lost. John Cena lost. Oh god. Oh. Match of the night. Match of the night. You know what? Let's just skip over DJ because he's gonna try to say something about how you know, we, he, something about John Cena being good or whatever. Uh, Justin, Justin, talk about how John Cena lost. I mean, well, John Cena lost. That's all you have to say. That's oh yeah, no. This was a good match. I mean, I really enjoyed it. You know, two icon. These these guys were icon. 
I got it! <laughs> I got it. Yeah, we had to get an iconic from DJ, but this was very good. You know, the finishers back and forth and then reversing the finishers. I really enjoyed that. I mean, this... The May 29 match was kind of worse, in my opinion. The Twice in a Lifetime match was kind of worse because they just did a whole bunch of... Is this a finisher fest that they did? But, you know, this was very good. I like when... Uh, you know, since did that, you know, five knuckle shuffle, and then the rock popped up, and then the rock bottom. I freaking enjoyed that. I freaking love that. And then you should have saw um, who was referee in this match. Uh, was it um, who was referee? But his the referee's what? The guy is is probably a guy. Um, yeah, but Earl Hebner. I mean, no, Earl Hebner is TNA. No, but, you know, it's always Earl Hebner though. It's it was Dave Hebner. Hebner. <laughs> it was Brian Hesner. <laughs> Whatever. You should have saw his expression. He was like, like his face, his facial expression was so funny. Um, but you know, this this was a fun match, and I really enjoyed it. And the crowd was like, so not behind Cena. And when Cena threw his, you know, his armband, they th- they should threw back. Oh, armband. wait! I take what I said. <laughs> yeah. Took that from DJ. Took that from. I, I know, uh, I know. It was it was Jerome Hebner. <laughs> Justin oh, just took. Uh, I I said that to Justin earlier today. I was like, they should have threw it back at him, just like they did with one night stand. It would have been perfect. Plus, they're in Miami, so you know, duh, no one's gonna cheer for Cena. Duh, that's how that's how it works in hometowns. But um, I was like, they should have threw his armband back. Come on, what what are you guys doing? Come on, crowd, you guys suck. Anyway, um. <laughs> Did we did we need a concert before both entrances? Did we? Did we really? Like, but did we really need a concert before both entrances? I'm just saying. Um, I, I, I didn't understand it. You did, and then you brought it up. Thanks Thank you for that. You MG, MGK. You're welcome. Um, in in Florida, I mean Florida. Um, Florida, as you player would say. <laughs> but uh, the rock got spiked right on his head on that diving leg drop. My goodness, I was like, "Ow, come on, Rock, that's gotta hurt." But uh, I, I know when y'all, when, when I think he was in the STF, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so if the Rock passed out today, that match would have been over immediately. Like they would have been like, "Nope, it's done." But like they, this was back when they still did the three arm raise thing, which actually makes no sense when you think about it. Um. I know Casey and I have talked about it before, how we've been like clamoring for it to come back. But when you think about it logically, it really doesn't make any sense. It's so, so, no, 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 just follow me here. So, you <laughs> pass out from pain, apparently, right? And so, so the thing that's going to revive you is me lifting your arm three times? No, 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 no. See, you understand so much. I mean, it gets, a, it gets a big pop. I will tell you that. You're in so much pain that you kind of you go into this meditative state, and the ref, you know, he lifts your arms up a couple of times, so you're like, oh, okay, no, no, I'm still here, I'm still good, I'm still good, I'm just, you know, trying to block out the pain. That's I mean, I'm, I mean, you know, they're gonna go, you know, they're not gonna go down on three, like, like one, two, and then they drop, they get ready to do, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah! and then the crowd goes freaking crazy. They go crazy <laughs> every time. <laughs> I mean, if if we're like, not, you know, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna happen. So why did they do it? Like, if, if, if we're not gonna do it three times, then why, why, why a three count? Why not just one count? See, see, my my thing is too. They always go for the things that get the biggest pops. So especially with like certain moves, um, that's why people have comeback moments because they get the biggest pops. Um, that's why we see hot tags so much because when someone comes in on a hot tag, oh, the crowd, you know, that's why Hulk Hogan hooks you know. up. As much as it's a no sell, that's why Hogan does. That's why. That's why Hogan does. But I mean, all that really matters is uh, John Cena. Cena lost. lost. It was a fluke, John and we will lost. see. It John was a fluke. Lost. It was a fluke, and we will see. <laughs> I, I actually, I actually, though, real quick, I, I think the storyline to the second. Match was a lot better than the storyline for the first match. It's redemption. You're just saying that because he won the second one. No, I'm just no. saying that because the storyline to this was like, oh, My icon versus icon, like always. 
I mean, that's WWE. They're always going to have icon versus icon matches. I mean, if Daniel Bryan didn't freaking have to retire, they would have done one probably this year. With him and who? Funko. Triple H. No, they always do it with people who, like, Daniel Bryan they, like, they, got they to become did, the face of the company, though. They already did Triple H. It's Daniel Bryan. Hey. Hey, shut up. They're going to do it again. They're WWE. And they, they don't care what you say or what anyone else says. That. Okay, you're talking around now. Anyway. John Cena lost. John, sorry, I'm really excited about this show because John Cena lost. Uh, to the Rock. To the Rock. But to, anyway, the, co- to the cock. To the, I, <laughs> but anyway, that was your WrestleMania 28 review. Our stop at WrestleMania 28 on our way to WrestleMania 32. Uh, we only have two more stops to go. Two more. Two more. And then we will be at WrestleMania, which is coming up really soon. It- I, I, I suggest I am proposing an honorary switch that's real. I nope, deserve no, WrestleMania no, 20. No. Justin deserves WrestleMania 29. He picked no. it. <laughs> nope. It's how we ordered it, so Casey made... the, the order makes no sense, though. No, Casey no, got two no. manias in a row. No. Uh, That's because it was one of my honorable mentions. But but I picked WrestleMania 30. I did. I did, it. I did also, so... But I picked you it before what? you did, so... Yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over both your heads, and I'm going to take WrestleMania 30. No, you're not invited. You're not invited. And both of you, you two can share WrestleMania 29. You two, you can do a joint review. WrestleMania 29. No, no, no. Yep, that's how it's going to happen. So, stay tuned for WrestleMania 29 when both of those two do a joint review. And I, I, have, I have two of those, so I don't know why you're showing me yours, Justin. I have two. Uh, oh. But anyway... Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment, follow the Twitter, uh, other stuff that we tell you to do all the time that you, you do because you listen to us. Do it. Do it now. Do it now or we'll come to your grandma's house and we'll cook her dinner, but it won't be that good. And she'll be slightly disappointed and then that'll be on your conscience forever. We'll we'll see you on the flippity dippity. What was your favorite match? Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, where'd Justin go? Forgot about that. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Uh, my favorite match. Since I forgot, I'm gonna have uh, DJ go first. I almost you have go. Justin go first, so we can just sit here and offer. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my favorite match of the night we had to be. I didn't say you could go first. I said you should. Um, well, it was the Undertaker and Triple H in the end of an era. You weren't even alive for that era. Shut up. Yeah, that's true. You weren't. So, <laughs> <laughs> my favorite match was, and the match you should go back and watch, I'm going to go Undertaker vs. Triple H. Hell in a Well, I'm going to go for the obvious choice. The one that you need to go watch. If for no other reason, and this actually should be the only reason that you can watch this match, Kelly Kelly. Who watch Kelly Kelly? Because who doesn't want to watch Kelly Kelly? Kelly Kelly. Not me. I don't want to watch Kelly Kelly. I mean, that's because you don't understand what a real woman is. Okay. She, um, I know what a real woman is. Sasha Banks. I mean, yeah, she's cute, but whatever. Uh, but no, go watch the Becky Lynch. Chris Jericho versus CM Punk. Thank you. Yes, okay. 
I, I, I type better. Just hide him. He can't do anything. <laughs> the end of the video. But anyway. But yeah, that that's the end of do all the stuff that I told you to do before. I forgot to ask uh, all the members of the Instant Classic Wrestling podcast minus Justin uh, who the what their favorite matches were. Do all that stuff, you know. Follow, like, subscribe, comment, rate, share, dance, do an do an interpretive dance, telling people to watch the Instant Classic Wrestling podcast, and then. Send us a video of the interpretive dance to our Twitter, because I want to see that if you do it. So if you do it, do that, and we will see you on the flippity-dippity. Oh, yeah.